Alrighty, what is up, Ubu Dog Pack? I'm back with another gameplay commentary live here on the Ubu Dog Live channel. We are on Twitch and YouTube today because I'm here to bring you a motion aiming guide on the Nintendo Switch. But first off, I want to say Happy New Year. Today is January 1st. I woke up pretty early and with a pretty fair amount of motivation, and here we are. So I think New Year. And the new decade is off to a good start. But anyways, let's just get right into the guide, because nobody likes a tutorial where the person gives their life story and a whole prologue to what actually happened. So, let's get right into it. I'm going to pick um, Hanzo. Um, who's an aim-intensive person? With every death Maybe Winston. Maybe honor. I'll pick Winston, because he takes a lot of aim. Alright, all jokes aside, let's start off with uh, the settings. Because that's what the most important part is for you guys. We are also going to touch the pros and the cons later. Mostly the pros. So here we are in control settings. Just press R1, L1. There's uh, quite a few important things you have to consider here. Um, for the most part, my sensitivity is uh, default. I have pretty much everything here default, just for the sake of being default. If you want to see how I perform, you can definitely check my other videos and stuff. So here we could... Uh, See controller at the top. This is just where s default settings. We haven't gone into gyro, but uh, changing some other settings is also important. So I'm actually surprised here. I have aim assist completely off, and all the settings on off except for vibration because my vagina loves it. The most important thing here is to change aim technique to linear ramp. I find it the most comfortable and uh, something that more modern games do more of the time. So linear ramp, I recommend it. I also tried dual zone and anything but exponential ramp. And exponential ramp is the default setting. And I, I really am not comfortable with it. I mean, I actually did pretty well because when the game first came out, I did not change my settings yet. But honestly, I recommend linear ramp where it says aim technique for the most part. And uh, aim assist, that's up to you. I don't personally use it because it kind of throws me off when it's not doing exactly what I tell it to do. And if you check my last streams, I'm actually surprised by how well I managed to kill people. Uh, someone's in chat, dude. Oh wait, that's not my chat. What the heck, I'm watching another chat. Excuse that. Um, oh, whoops. What just happened there? Alright, here we go. We're hitting the main plate here with the gyro, the main dish. So, of course, gyro on. Gyro aim assist, on or off. I'm just gonna turn that off because I prefer not to have aim assist. And for the record, I'm not using aim assist, so take that, all you controller haters. For the most part, you wanna turn these off, off. Well, when you open advanced, you wanna turn this off, off, off. These are actually all default settings, except for this. As I mentioned earlier, to have default settings, but uh, you know, the emphasis that you want to have is disable gyro while using stick. On default, that is on. Turn that off. That is the single most important part about this guide. Is to turn that off. So if you follow along, turn this off. Sensitivity and everything, I have it set to default, but you could change that to whatever you're comfortable with. I'm sure that you'll be more comfortable with higher sensitivity. Especially on controller, or if you want vibration off, turn that off. Invert, that's a uh, personal preference. I don't do that because I'm not used to it. But yeah, in summary, I recommend linear ramp and um, to disable gyro while using stick to be off because, as it describes, if you turn it on, it will disable your gyro and your stick. Uh, it's confusing. Okay, so disable gyro while using stick, which is not a good idea because you want to be able to do both at the same time. Because I hear a lot of people in discussions, they say, I don't want to do motion controls because your, your hands are moving all over the place. But it, it's yeah, it not all motion controls. You're not supposed to flill your whole body around just to aim. You still use your right stick. You should still be using your right stick. Your right stick doesn't just disappear and like you're just left filling your arms. Your right stick should still be usable. So um, 
yeah, make sure that you turn this off because you want to be able to do right stick and motion aiming at the same time. And uh, that's the most important part. <laughs> Should have made an emphasis on that. Got you. Double kill. <clears throat> Alrighty, so I'm just going to talk about the pros and cons now while I hit some shots, practice myself to be honest. The new practice range uh, update where you can practice range while while searching for a match is pretty cool. I like that update overwatch. But as we can see here with a controller, you know my aim isn't as bad as it would be without it. I'm able Never to flick change. pretty well, I'll show you. So look at that. This is a flick that you wouldn't be able to really do on on just like right stick. I'll, in comparison, I'll do it with the right stick. Now it is possible. So if you are good at that, I mean. I used to do 360 lobbies, of course, back in the day, back on the PS3 Call of Duty days, but honestly, it would be way easier back then if I had motion aiming. Which definitely should have been a thing, because I know PS3 controllers did have motion. Whoa. I'm getting too into this target practice right now. During my YouTube video. I can't hit that one guy, it's pretty cringe. <gasps> but that's when you press Q it's to win, dudes! No stopping me. Hey, I'm not perfect. Everybody needs practice. So anyways, first pro that I have uh, set up here. I'm going to have to change my character for this. Well, my first point is actually just precision. Because, uh, maybe we could just do a little demonstration. You know, you can aim here, aim there. Of course, when you get more used to it. It takes a, lot of, a little bit of effort. But, uh... So what? <laughs> effort is, a. Uh, what you need. So, you know, uh, the fact that you get to use your whole arms, your wrist, it provides a lot more precision than just right sticking. Honestly, at some point, when you're just using the right stick, I find it uncomfortable. I'm not that bad at it, though. I'm actually pretty decent at just using the right stick. But, it's just a lot more precision, I find, when you can do motion aiming. It's just a lot more precision and honestly it, the word is describing itself at this point <laughs> um... flicking that's another point um, what I mean by flicks is that when you have a right stick it's either you move left at a certain speed or you move right at a certain speed it is like you can't go above that that speed if I wanted to to look to my left, it will take whatever m sensitivity it is. When you turn motion controls on, you could like turn to the side instantly. You could turn around instantly. You could just look around instantly. It's almost like I'm using a mouse at this point. So yeah. As you can see, if you compare looking from this way to to do all the way around, I don't know, that's kind of a bad comparison, but if I were to look left and then to the right, it's just one speed. One rail speed to look to the other side. But I could also just quickly turn around with my wrist. As you can see here. You know, it's realistic and it's similar to mouse movement when you turn motion controls on. So that's what I mean by flicks. It's just, you can flick at whatever speed you want to. And I find that's also true about touchscreen, is that when you flick on a touchscreen, now this isn't really relevant, but playing COD Mobile, I could tell that it's actually pretty good, being able to, to use your thumb at whatever speed you want to look around at. But that's beside the point. Alright, my next point will be, this is the next point where I need to actually change characters, uh, will be for jumping while um, I will protect jumping and aiming. So, as you all know, you use the right stick to aim and the jump button with your thumb but what that leads to is that you can't jump at the same time as aiming and of course Farah can left trigger to jump or to fly but if you're not used to that then what's the point so uh yeah 
you are actually when you turn on motion controls you can aim with your with your motion right while still flying and jumping for example my jump button is set to B right which is right beside the right stick so I can pretty much only jump or only right stick because my right thumb can only do one thing at a time but by turning on motion aim you are able to fly and jump and you, you, you still have aim abilities you don't have to claw what I see a lot, a lot often is people have to claw in order to uh, to aim while jumping because you can't press the jump button while trying to aim it's pretty pretty bad and it's what gives of mouse and keyboard players an advantage is that they press spacebar to jump while their mouse hand is still free to aim so they have full aim while jumping and that doesn't it's not true for uh, for controller players as well we only have one right thumb right so yeah I could also switch up to Lucio and I'll show you guys how beneficial that is I actually realized this in the stream this morning is that you can jump and still aim let's see so yeah you need to hold the jump button in order to wall ride but if you were to not have motion aiming then you'd be stuck holding the right stick but you can't really practice your aim but that's where motion aiming comes in handy is that you can still look around you still shoot and look around while you're wall riding or just jumping honestly it comes in handy with almost every character Hanzo, Genji those guys have double jumps but every character can jump so it actually ends up being quite useful being able to jump and still aim at the same time as you can see I'm double jumping but I'm still able to like flick around like cutting through silk. in close quarters like if someone's like right here you're gonna have to to do like really micro it, it just gets really hectic and uh, you want to be able to control yourself 100% and you get just more control with motion aiming so to end the video we've got um we've gone through a few points but it does end up being personal preference and it does end up being pr a lot of practice needed especially if it's your first time a lot of people are not used to it but I highly recommend it Be and uh, it's not like you lose your right stick I mean people are saying oh I just rather use my right stick and I don't want to flail my arms but the thing is you don't lose your right stick at all you can still use your right stick as much as you want but you just get the added benefits of even more depth to your aim so yeah that is just a um, quick little guide not really the quickest but this is a beginner guide um, I might do this again with a camera on and uh, more organized next time but I made this video already but I forgot to even turn my mic on and that is just sad as fuck so I turned my mic on this time and uh, give you a few reasons to, to try motion aiming but not only jump but it also allows you to crouch and look around and also might actually be useful is that you can also aim while doing your ultimate so there's also that with every let's just charge up my ultimate and I'll show you what I mean but while I'm what I'm talking about redemption. also is I actually forgot what I was gonna say because I got focused on this one point whoops let's just charge this up my and while it's charging up snowflakes. I'll just pretend that I'm good I have a few cons though oh, that's what I was gonna say is the cons are it takes effort you can't just sit down you actually have to use your arms to hold up yourself and uh, to aim so it's not easy um, you can't really just lay in bed and do motion controls you kinda need to almost stand up sometimes if you stand up you get even more control but just sitting down in a chair is good enough um, honestly that's the only cons I can think of is just it takes a lot of effort but I mean if you want to get a boost in your gameplay the effort is worth it in my opinion and uh and who cares about effort you know you'll get stronger you'll get uh, 
you, you get better looking. Because honestly, when you practice aiming on your mouse, it's just your right arm moving. It's just your right wrist. And you end up looking like Doomfist. And you don't want to look like Doomfist. You want to look like a symmetrical symmetrical guy. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's that. Highly recommend motion controls. And uh, I'll show you the power of, of motion controls right here. I'm going to press X. But by pressing X to use your ultimate, you can't be using your right stick at the same time. Or so we thought. But look at this! Yeah, that was a pretty good amount of control as well. And uh, those are the benefits, and uh, that's a pretty good benefit considering X is a good way to win. That'll come in handy on multiple characters, D.Va, Reinhardt. Winston, I mean, uh, Roadhog, why did I say Winston? Roadhog, Sigma, Winston, not really, but, you know. Uh, Hanzo, especially, McCree, sure. May, Farah, Soldier, Tracer, Ana, yeah. A lot of characters can benefit from motion controls when you need to press X. Because my fingers are on, okay, my fingers are literally not on the right stick which means I can press jump, I'm not using the right stick at all, I can jump, I can crouch, I can reload, which is not really that useful, but I can crouch as much as I want, I can use my ultimates, and this is all without losing my ability to aim by needing to use the right stick. So, in summary, I hope uh, you guys try this out, and I highly recommend motion aiming for Nintendo Switch, not only for Overwatch, but for many other games so if this helped or if this opened your eyes to something new uh definitely leave a like comment and subscribe to the ooh dog pack uh i'll be back with another video and stream the controller's on my lap and i'm moving my chair around all right thanks for watching share this video to people who want to try this or suck at aiming on controller or send this to your PC Master Race people who think aiming on controller is bad because it's actually pretty good. And you can play while standing up. And you can put your controller in your pocket. And you can't put your keyboard and your mouse in your pocket. And you can't really stand up and sit on the couch really and play PC games, but you can with the controller. So, yeah. I'm starting to lean towards controller. And that's a pretty long guide. Whoops.